You definitely know about cancer. I mean, who doesn't? It is the disease of the century. Today, we are going to talk about a very serious topic. You might have this required basic knowledge about this specific topic, but get ready because we are about to dive deeper into it. We are not going to discuss cancer in general terms. We are going to discuss the leading reason behind cancer deaths among both males and females. The reason that makes up almost 25% of all cancer deaths according to the American Cancer Society. Have you guessed it yet? Let me give you another clue. It is well known that cigarette smoking is the number one major risk factor for this type of cancer. And yes, you're guessing it right, it is lung cancer. Lung cancer and smoking often but not always go hand in hand. As lung cancer stages advance, lung cancer symptoms include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and bloody mucus. Treatment includes surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. So what is it about lung cancer? Welcome to Beyonce. If this is your first time watching my videos, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated on our future uploads. A brief answer would be, it is the type of cancer that grows in the lungs. Yet in order to properly understand lung cancer, we need to understand how cancer works in the first place. Cancer occurs when cells in the body uncontrollably divide and grow. Every normal cell in our body contains the genetic material known as DNA, and every time a mature normal cell divides, it gives two identical daughter cells with the same equal amount of genetic material in each one. Sometimes error or genetic mutations happen, and that's when cancer begins, when cells start dividing in a crazy unstoppable way. So, as a quick recap, lung cancer is the uncontrolled growth and dividing of cells in one or both lungs. This dividing of normal cells no longer carry out the function of normal cells. As they grow, they interfere gradually with the function of the lungs, which is providing all the tissues in our bodies with oxygen through the blood. But don't worry, one or two mutations don't trigger the lung cancer. Our bodies have a very powerful immune system that detects these mutations and fixes them. Researchers found that it takes many mutations before we can call a cell a cancerous cell. Now that we understood what lung cancer is, we need to know what causes it. Because our lungs are inside our bodies, almost everything we breathe in can affect them. There are many risk factors, but smoking comes on the top of the list. Not only active smoking, but secondhand smoking is equally dangerous. Smoking cigarettes is the single biggest risk factor for lung cancer. It is responsible for more than 70% of cases. Tobacco smoke contains more than 60 different toxic substances which known to be carcinogenic or cancer-producing. If you smoke more than 25 cigarettes a day, you are 25 times more likely to get lung cancer than a non-smoker. Now let's go to some other risk factors. Number 1. Radon It is a naturally occurring odorless gas that is usually emitted from soils and rocks. It can be found in many houses. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, nearly one out of every 15 homes in the United States is thought to have high radon levels. Number 2. Asbestos it is a very tiny mineral found in some types of rocks. It can irritate lung cells and lead to lung cancer eventually. Number 3. Air Pollution Many floating industrial substances in our atmosphere can induce lung cancer after long-term exposure to them. Number 4. Also people with a personal or family history of cancer are at a higher risk. Number 5. Radiation exposure such as chest x-rays it increases the risk especially in those who smoke. Still, another expert stresses that patients should not assume chest x-rays are useless. They are still helpful in cases where doctors already have some reason to believe the patient has cancer. However, chest x-rays cannot give a definitive diagnosis because they often cannot distinguish between cancer and other conditions such as a lung abscess which is a collection of pus that forms in the lungs. If chest x-rays suggest you may have lung cancer, you should be referred to a specialist in chest conditions. Oddly enough, those who do not smoke are not immune to lung cancer. So with all these risk factors and definitions, is it really dangerous? 
Unfortunately, yes. Dangerous enough that each year, more people die of lung cancer than of colon, breast, and prostate cancer combined. Is it a serious matter? Then it must be taken very seriously. And therefore, we must know all the symptoms of lung cancer. But first, you should know that symptoms may be confined only to the lung or may invade other body parts, which means that there are two types of symptoms, symptoms in the chest and symptoms elsewhere in the body. Now let's start with chest symptoms. There are usually no or slight symptoms in the early stages of the disease. They start appearing gradually with no progression of the disease. The more it develops, the severer the symptoms get, including a new long-standing persistent cough that worsens or doesn't go away in a week or two. Recurrent chest infections and lung problems such as bronchitis and pneumonia, chest pain, or pain in shoulders and back that worsens during coughing, deep breathing, and even laughing. Shortness of breath while performing everyday activities, wheezes during breathing, unexplained weight loss which is also known as kakixia, feeling tired all time with lack of energy, and it may even escalate up to coughing up blood. These are the most common chest symptoms. However, there are some less common symptoms such as swollen face or neck, fluid accumulation in the space surrounding the lung or the pleural space, pain during swallowing, hoarseness of voice. In long-term cancer cases, some changes in the appearance of fingers may occur, a phenomenon known as finger clubbing. Fingers become more curved with larger ends and it may eventually look like drumsticks. And it doesn't stop here. In advanced stages, cancer may spread to distant parts of the body such as other lung segments, bone, liver, brain, adrenal gland, and lymph nodes. When it does spread, it surely symptomatizes and the symptoms may seem confusing and unrelated to the original disease, such as bone fractures which is not preceded by any traumas, bone ache and joint pain, neurological symptoms, patients may suffer from memory loss and unsteady walking, jaundice or bleeding due to liver affection, lumps in the neck which are enlarged lymph nodes, headache, and general weakness. All these symptoms may confuse patients because they may be similar to symptoms of other diseases. So if you have any of these symptoms, do not hesitate and seek a doctor's help immediately to be on the safe side. If you find this video helpful, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you'd like to suggest a topic for our next video, please write your comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, sharing is just one click away.